Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, I got Buttercup 2.0 in the camper and that means there's been another successful towing trip. And after my last video, I had so many of you asking, Krista, how does the 2.7 compare to the 2.3? How did it do towing this camper? Well, you know what? That's what today's video is all about. Buckle up. Well, there seems to be an abundance of flies here this morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this inside. And you know what the perk of doing it inside is? Air conditioning. I feel like here in Florida, the summer has just really come on full force and has been extra, extra hot. Uh, so let me set up the camera and I will tell you a little bit about how my experience has been with towing with my new Bronco. Now before I go into the details of comparing the two Broncos towing this camper, let's get back to the basics. What camper am I towing? This is the Grand Design Imagine AM 15BH. I've had this since March. I absolutely love it. I've put tons of miles on it. So there's that. That's out of the way. If you guys want in-depth videos about this camper, I have plenty of them. Just check out the channel. Now let's talk about the Broncos. Buttercup, my first original Buttercup was a 2.3 non-SAS Bronco. So it did not have the Sasquatch gearing. However, it did have aftermarket 35 inch tires and I had very heavy front rear bumpers and sliders. So it had a lot of extra weight, but I did have the Ford calibration tune. So that's the information about my 2.3 liter Bronco. Now in this video, I'm gonna compare the Broncos by saying 2.3 and 2.7 just to make things easier. Now the Bronco I have is a 2.7 liter Badlands non-Sasquatch. So I do have the bigger, better gearing, but I don't have the Sasquatch gearing. I also do not have the 35 inch tires on the Bronco quite yet. And I do not have a Ford Performance tune and no heavy bumpers. If you look at the numbers of the Ford Performance Tune and a stock 2.7, numbers are pretty comparable. The Ford Performance Tune really boosts the torque and horsepower for the 2.3, and I cannot speak highly enough about the Ford Performance Tune. So much so that I'm probably gonna get it for the 2.7. I've been comparing that to the Whipple Tune, and I think I'm leaning towards the Ford Performance Tune. I haven't made my final decision yet, but when I do, I will definitely give you the reasons on why I went with one and not the other, so stay tuned for that. Now let's talk hitch setup. I have the exact same hitch setup, so none of that has changed. In fact, I do wanna start this video by saying you guys should have an equalizer hitch or sway control hitch. Um, it's just safer. It keeps the camper from kind of getting sucked in when semi trucks drive by you. There is really no downside to having a sway or equalizer hitch. So if you are thinking about getting a camper, just factor that into the budget. I think I paid, it was between four and $600 for mine off of Amazon. I can even put the link to that in the description below, but that is a no brainer. That is a must have. Okay, now let's talk numbers. With my 2.3, obviously I have towed many more miles because I had it longer. And I think I did about 10,000 miles towing. So I have a lot of, uh, a wide range of numbers to compare to versus now. I haven't had my Bronco, the 2.7, very long, but I have towed the camper a couple of times around 250 miles each trip. And I feel like I've towed it enough to give you guys some numbers. With my 2.3, I had the tune, so I always fed it 93 gas. Right now in my Badlands, I'm trying to save my nickels and dimes and I am giving it 89. I know, what a no-no. But like I said, I'm gonna get a tune on it very soon and she's gonna be guzzling down that 93. So before I put a tune on it, I'll probably tow one time on 93 to see if it increases my uh, MPG, which it very likely will. So these numbers are based off the 2.7 on 89 and the 2.3 on 93. I am getting better gas mileage. In fact, I'm getting about 10 to 11 miles per gallon easily, easily. That was hard for my 2.3. Um, I would say most of the time I was getting eight and there was one point when we were in a terrible, terrible, terrible headwind storm for a solid day. And 
I'm too embarrassed to tell you what my MPG was on that day, but all I can say is I did not like my credit card bill at all that day, but the trip was worth it. It was worth it. I am getting better miles per gallon towing this camper with the 2.7, but there are a couple things to consider. Like I said before, I may not have that performance tune, but this Bronco is far lighter than the 2.3. Not only the smaller tires, but the weight from the bumpers and the sliders, that makes a huge difference. I do kind of think that maybe that is playing a role in it, a huge role that I don't know. I mean, eventually I'm going to have this thing done up very comparable to the two, three. So we'll get better numbers then. But I've had so many of you ask, especially since I just released the last video of me towing this off road, I had so many people asking me, Hey, show me the differences. What do you think? Give us a review. So I wanted to give you guys this video just to kind of give you an idea. Yes, I have also, taken the 2.7 off-road with this camper. Now that's the part where I was really interested in because obviously this camper has been off-road in the 2.3. I went to Utah and Arizona, stayed off-grid for multiple days, went through kind of a rough terrain. The camper does fine. This camper has such a high clearance, you can really do a lot of stuff. Would I test it to its limits and do like really crazy things? Probably not just because why? why just unhook it and take the Bronco and do that crazy stuff. But I was a little concerned of how this 2.7 was going to do because it's completely stock. Yes, I have the lockers and all of that, but how is it going to tow all of this weight off road? So that's what my last week's video was all about. If you guys missed that video, you can check out the link. I'll put it up here on the cards and down in the description below it towed the camper equally as good as it did before. So overall, I'm very happy with how the 2.3 towed it and the 2.7 towed it. Yes, I'm getting better miles per gallon with my 2.7, but I think other factors um, play with that. Now I am interested to see how those numbers change after I add a tune to this new Bronco. So I will of course do a video with that. There is one thing that is different. My 2.3 did not come with a towing package. As you know, I ordered my Bronco to get it ASAP. So I got rid of all the constraints. At that time, the towing package was a constraint. This Bronco, you know, I waited 18 months. I ordered what I wanted, is definitely worth the wait only because I had a Bronco in the meantime. But from the factory, the hitch setup comes with a four pin and a seven pin. Not only that, you get a really cool um, towing specific screen on your infotainment system, which I really like. It has built in sway control and just some goodies. I'm so impressed with all of that. That's gonna get its own video here shortly. I didn't wanna make this video too long. If you can get the towing package on your Bronco, it's gonna make things so much easier. And one thing I did learn after putting the tow package on my last Bronco is Ford does make its own OEM trailer brake and I really like it. So it takes up a lot less space than the Kurt trailer brake that I had before. So I have that installed, um, you know, to add that extra safety to my tow package. If you do plan really to tow anything, I recommend a trailer brake. If you guys aren't familiar with what a trailer brake does, um, if you start to fishtail or even like porpoise, like if you're hitting like a bump or say a semi truck, you know, blew past you and you start to swerve a little bit like that, you always put your foot to the gas and then press your trailer brake. So that's going to stop the, the sway of the camper. So no matter what you're towing, I do think it's beneficial to have a trailer brake. But like I said, I will show you my hitch setup, the towing system on the 2.7 Bronco in a separate video. I will say that the 2.7 and the 2.3 both did a great job towing this camper. I would be lying if I said I noticed a difference between the two because I did not notice a difference. I would say the only difference I noticed was better gas mileage. Um, but time will tell if that gas mileage will stay um, higher than what the two, three was after I make these more modifications that can definitely, you know, change the MPG. But you know what time it is? It's time to wrap up this video. It's time to take the Bronco off road. I'm not taking the camper off road. It's already off road in its spot. Uh, do some fun stuff, product testing and things like that. But I wanted to throw this video out there because I had so many people asking me, Hey, can you give us just a quick review of the two seven instead of typing it out a million times? Here's your video. 
So you guys have a great one. Be sure to like and subscribe. Lots of cool content ahead. And like always, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up.